Okay, so this morning there was a question concerning shade tabs and Gradia Composite, and is there is there a shade tabs available through GC America? Because uh, the question was they wanted to be able to uh, take shades a uh, chair side. So let me show you what I've done, and then maybe you could take these uh, suggestions and turn it into something that'll work for you. When I first started working with composite materials, the first thing I had to do is I had to um, be able to uh, differentiate the way the composite looked on top of the acrylic versus by itself. And so, you know, we always have to worry about the canvas, you know, the um, what are we putting it on top of and how does that affect the overall shape, okay? So what I did for acrylics was that I took, and these were blank. You can get these from GC America. They're, they're shade tab makers, okay? Um, so what the first thing that I did was I took one of the shade tabs that had nothing on it. And what I did is I waxed up a, uh, like a little uh, tab on top of there in wax. And then I took putty when I got it to where I wanted it, and I pressed the putty on top of that tab and impressed it. Then I scratched off the wax, and then what I did was I took the shade of acrylic that I like the best, and um, I took each one of these tabs with that little silicon form and filled it with um, self-curing uh, material uh, in the shade that I like. You know, with GC, their acrylics match from the self-cure the microwave and the heat cure and the pour, they all they all match up. So the, the shade that I like, the uh, Light Fiber Plus, what I did was I filled that little that little form up, pressed it on and let that set up. And what I did was I made little Light Fiber Plus tabs. Once I took once I got the tabs, what I did was um, I had to color them so that I could see what the shade looked like. So, in the gum for the gum modifiers, and that's the ones I have to do it on because the bodies they stand by themselves, as you can see on the back side. You, that's completely a body material in each one of these. For the gum modifiers, though, like I said, I have to have an acrylic backing of the shade that I prefer to use, and like I say, that that shade is Light Fiber Plus. So I made those little tabs with Light Fiber Plus, and then I went and I took the gum modifiers, the GMs, and placed it on top of each one of them so that I could see what the effect was with Light Fiber Plus acrylic and the um, gum modifiers, the 31, 2, 3, 4, 35, and 36, okay? You can do that with your... Um, you can do that also with any other shade that you, that you like to use. Now, uh, what I do also is I have uh, I have some tabs that I made individually for acetyl. But the thing with acetyl is, or trinia, if you're using the ivory or anything that's white, PMMA underneath, is that you also, before you, if, if you were to make some tabs, you don't have to make them on this, but if you were to make just little tabs using scrap, like this and just cutting and and carving yourself some tabs is you always got to remember that you've got to first put the opaque on uh, before you put the color on and and that's what you use your tabs you can't just put it on the white you have to put it uh, on top of the opaque that's opaquing out the white and I hope you're doing that because if you're not you're probably finding that many times if not all the time your restorations that you're building on top of Trinia are uh, have an orange complexion to them. And that's because you have this white in behind that pink and it's, it's driving it to look orange. You really need to use opaque and I would not use the opaque out of the tube. I would take and I would either lighten or darken it depending on probably I would darken it and make it redder so that you have a redder background than a whiter or lighter background so that when you place your bodies on top of it it doesn't transpose through the material and create uh, that orange shade that you're probably seeing. Um, so you know take I, it, it's time consuming but you know you take some scrap cut yourself some pieces smooth them out into a uniform type of shape make several of them and then 
opaque them with the um, gum opaques and then add a body on top of it or add a modifier on top of it so you can see what you're going to get and then use those individually. I'll show you what I did with acrylics is that I made custom shade tabs uh, when we had specific patients and these are these would be um, light reddish pink, light, I have them in all different shades and then what I did is I added a little bit of character to each one of them what I would consider to be a standard default character setup and you can see those are all different shades and by doing that um, I can supply these uh, to my doctors um, so they can do a chair side matching it also gives them a chance to show the patient uh, different options for color and what they look like uh, I made rubber molds for these two these were poured out of uh, poured out of self-care and what I did here with the teeth is I took cards, real cheap teeth, placed three teeth in, the, in a wax up, duplicated the wax up, took all the wax out of it, inserted teeth into it, and I bought like, I think they're like $2 a card, and I made left sides and right sides. These are the right uh, left sides, but you can see. So in this vein, what you can do is you can do the same thing with Trinia or Acetyl Resins. Make yourself tabs, again, make the tabs, cut them, make them uniform, you can use your waste, then go back, opaque them with the opaque color you're going to use when you do the buildup, and then you can lay the bodies and modifiers depending on what you want to match up. In most times, most cases you'll probably use the bodies because if you're doing a big buildup on a bar you want to make sure that you have a body first and modifiers for the shade or color options. Okay. Anyway, that's just a quick one, just to give you get your gears rolling, so that you can kind of get an idea of, you know, how how to get yourself a baseline, so that you can hit that shade that you're looking for for the tissue. Okay, and again, it's going to take a little work, but you know, it's all about you doing the work and others don't, and that's what makes you different than everybody else. And I've always lived by that credo, and it's worked for me really well. Go out, go outside of the boundaries of what everybody else is setting and do something different. And by doing that, you'll always find an appreciative audience. All right, that's it for this morning. Have a good one. And I think I'll put this one on YouTube too. I think it's a good, I think it's a good way to, uh, to get some information out there. You have a great day.